Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how to crush, grind, and cut nutmeg, depending on what type of uh, culinary preparation you're making. So, first thing you want to do, if you want to just cut it, and if you don't have a grinder, just to cut it in half, you can, you can do that. But then that causes the nut to explode in five to several different directions. Okay, you can pause that. So, as you can see, you, you, you usually you shouldn't just like, slice it in half like that. It'll, uh, it'll cause the nut to split and um, scatter. But once you, um, if you do end up doing that, you have a base now to cut it, and then you can just slice it like this very gently. And you can zoom in a bit. Let's see. If you're very careful, you can just kind of almost peel it off like that. Let's see. Well, cut your fingers. And this works pretty well if you have the time. So, but if you don't want to use a knife, another option is to simply grind it with a, what we call a hamandista. But you can al it's also known as a motor and pistol. So what you do is get the nutmeg, you drop it in, and you just uh, hit it a couple of times, and then every time you can uh, hit it slightly harder, or about the same amount, it really works. And it becomes really a coarse grind like this. And you do this for like several, maybe one minute would be enough and you get a really nice grind like this. But it's not a fine grind. It's not like flour, see? It's very coarse. And so this is not the best way to do it if you want a very fine powder. If you want to make a very fine powder, this is a bit of waste, but I'll take another nut. What you do, you get the nutmeg, you hit it a few times until it's big pieces like this, and then you put it into a spice grinder usually. And the reason why you do this is because if you directly put it into a spice grinder, then um, it'll, it might uh, damage the spice grinder. You want to make sure it's at least like smaller pieces. So it won't damage the spice grinder. You put it in and then you grind it. And it helps produce a very fine grind like this. So one of the reasons why it's important to grind up nutmeg, like from whole nutmeg, is because the, a lot of the pre-ground nutmeg that you find in the store isn't that fresh. And also, what they do when they get when they grind up the nutmeg, they will first press it and uh, gather all the um, essential oils and nutmeg oils, such that there's a very uh, low amount of uh, nutmeg essential oil left in the actual uh, grounds, and so you don't get that as much flavor and as much potency when you use uh, pre-ground nutmeg. So that's why it's actually quite useful to grind up your own, own nutmeg and use it in your dishes. And uh, one thing you'll notice is like, for example, for these, um, what do you call it? If you grind up the nutmeg yourself, but if you grind up the nutmeg yourself, then it'll be a lot more potent and it will be a lot more flavorful than you uh, buying pre-ground uh, nutmeg that you find in the store. You'll also notice that the pre-ground nutmeg has a nice uh, particular orange brown color it has a nice deep color and the a store-bought nutmeg you can tell that it's already been um uh that it's not fresh uh, on top of that that it's been you know squeezed or um the essential oils have been squeezed because they usually tend to be a grayer color a whitish gray uh, grayish color they're not they don't have this uh, vibrant brown red um brown red um orangish color okay so you know that's one of the reasons why you want to uh, grind up your own nutmeg. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.